Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 27, 1979. Soviet troops invade Afghanistan. In 1978, a communist regime was established in Afghanistan due to a military coup carried out by a group of young leftist officers led by Nur Muhammad Taraki. The new regime adopted socializing and secular reforms, which met with great opposition among a strongly Islamized population and anchored in the past. The resistance soon materialized in Islamic Mujahideen guerrillas, which would put the communist government in check, prompting the intervention of the USSR in 1979. Russian troops officially stepped into Afghanistan on December 27, 1979 and abandoned it permanently on May 15, 1989, several months before the fall of the Berlin Wall. At the time, the Soviet invasion was seen in the West as a blatant attempt by Moscow to gain control of Afghanistan, a crossroads in which the main powers since Alexander the Great fought. However, the Kremlin rejected up to 10 requests from the Afghan authorities before deciding to send its troops, and when it did, it never thought to occupy the country, but to preserve the communist regime in power since 1978. According to Soviet archives now made public, the Soviet high command advised against sending troops to Afghanistan, but the Communist Politburo preferred to listen to the KGB reports which warned of the growing presence of the United States in the region. The military maintains that the KGB manipulated reports on the situation in the region, taking advantage of the precarious state of health of the then-Soviet leader, Leonid Brezhnev. As a result, the Soviet army had little time to invade Afghanistan and was not prepared for guerrilla warfare, as heavy weapons are almost useless to fight in the mountains. This, added to the hostile environment and the lack of support from Soviet public opinion, for whom the war marked one of the most tragic pages in its history, affected the morale of the troops. In 1984, Afghan Prime Minister Nur Muhammad Taraki continued to ask Moscow to launch new attacks against guerrilla positions to save the revolution, but it was too late. The arrival of Mikhail Gorbachev and Glasnost in the Kremlin exposed the mistakes made, according to official figures, the Soviet army lost about 15,000 men in Afghanistan and tens of thousands returned sick, mutilated and wounded in their pride. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.